So I've been here at the sanctuary for two months, and nothing's been going my way. Lost every match to some man, Johnny Moran, and a bunch of others. But I heard tonight there's a Jew walking in my sanctuary. And you know what? There's nothing more that I don't like than a smelly, curly, padded Jew. Oh, do I hate Jews? That's, that's wrong, Brian. I, I don't agree with that. Matthias Glass is my favorite Jew of all time. He's the only one you know. I used to know it. I'm not racist, I was just kidding. Now, the other two I knew kind of defined the definition of Jews and what they do. I tried to delete him from my memory, but now, in the year 2017, my favorite Jew is Matthias Glass, and here he comes! Matthias Glass is everybody's favorite. Glass having problems with his Roboska. That's not a safe spot to bump in. Oh, Frank McCabe hit it. That can't be legal. Come on, get that off of him. Well, I mean, I guess it's two to two. It's fair for two to play. Every time. I don't know what's wrong with you. Give it to him. I don't know if it fits underneath that bottom rope. This match is going to have some comedic value. I sure hope so, Brian. Who are you going for in this one, Brian? I like them both. Get ready for that bell. It's like, you know, I'm kind of with Frank McCabe, and he said he's been busting his ass and not gotten any breaks. In Frank McCabe time. has really been working hard here at the Sanctuary Sun Studio. He smells like Lindberger cheese. He smells like what? Lindberger cheese. That's that's disgusting, Brian. I don't even know what that smells like. Oh, I know what that is. Is it's not the greatest smell in the world. I got to be honest. Is it worse than for Munda? Kind of smells like a Jewish fart. Oh. Ducks underneath, got him in a waist lock. Spins around into the side headlock, reverses the side headlock. Spins around back behind into the hammer lock and all the way around into the side headlock again. Back around with the side headlock, over with the snapmare. Jews are notorious for going around in circles. That's how they got lost in the desert for four days. You know, on Google Maps, it says it should only take six days. <laughs> He's gone down over again with a snapmare. Okay. 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 I'm pretty sure he's asking for a timeout here for a second. I think he might need one. Are you ready to punch your car? Let's go. I know you might choose. Now it's Frank McCabe's turn to grab the. Frank McCabe now. Oh, no, 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 that didn't work out for him. Now he's over again with the snapmare. These two guys definitely have some prejudice against each other. Frank McCabe with the drop down. Ducks the clothesline. 
the Jewish sensation, Matthias Glass, the back elbow, ducks the clothesline. Wait a second, wait a second, what's Frank McCabe doing? What is Frank McCabe doing? Frank McCabe is making an ass out of himself. He's freaking out right now. I couldn't do that. Oh, Frank McCabe. Frank McCabe's dizzy. Snap me over he goes. This guy has got one move in his repertoire. It's a snap man. the Hasidic hip toss. He lands this Brian. Oh, he missed it. Sorry, so did I. <laughs> He missed it, it's okay, off the ropes. He's got a knee to the gut, that's the kitchen sink. Question is, can Frank McCabe take all of his hate speech and mean it mean something, make it mean something? Well, usually people with hate speech don't make it mean anything ever. Unless it's me and you, we mean well by our hate. I'm not quite sure where you're going with that, Brian, but I'm gonna agree with you. It's off the record. This is our second stunt fight of our four broadcast stunt fights tonight. I had whistle stop tonight, John. That sounds delicious. Oh, and he's got him over with the Mahi Straw Cradle. One, two, nope. Do you think Jews eat whistle stop? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Jews really have good memories of trains. Well, I think that they kind of have a lot of things. <laughs> They have a lot of things that are kosher and not kosher, Brian. True. Train rides to Auschwitz were not kosher. Will you stop? <laughs> Come on. Even from production, we got we to gotta <laughs> cut on that one. Will you stop? My bad. It's not my fault you've been drinking. I just, that has nothing to do with me drinking. It has to do with you drinking the Sat Yago this night. <laughs> Down! Oh, man! Math Matthias Glass is taking him from pillar to post. I think he's hit every turnbuckle right now, Brian. Reverses it, whips him down hard, throws himself into that whip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's time. Uh -oh. It's time. He's calling for it. Victory here at the sanctuary. To the middle rope. He's not going all the way up. He's all right. Oh, that one will break your coccyx. Yeah, it will. Maybe all the way up to your sacrum. <laughs> or your L4 or L5. Oh, that's just broke it on me, Brian. Is it? <laughs> it could end up all the way up to the Mandula on Langata. And listen to this sanctuary crowd. The congregation coming alive. I love the snap mares. Frank McCabe not going away that easy. Oh no, he caught him in the turnbuckle. He's got him. One, two, three. He's got him. Clean, clean. Clean, clean.
Geschmack. 